Welcome back to How We Grove. This is episode 12. And we're going to change it up this episode. Instead of Keith, you've got the Lockie and Joel show. And we are going to take you through the wonders of hempcrete. So behind me here we have our mix master Ed, who's making a brew of hempcrete. In that mix he's got hemp herd, a proprietary lime binder, a little bit of sand and water and we're just mixing it in a large agricultural pan mixer and the key to the pan mixer is it's more like making a cake mix as opposed to tumbling it in a bell mixer. Once the mix is complete that's when the manual labour begins. We put it into buckets, carry it in and the boys go to work tamping with their sticks. The trick to good tamping is to make sure where you're tamping against the shutter, we're compressing it nice and tight to get a nice flat finish. And in behind the part that we're not seeing, we're tamping it enough to stick together, but we're trying to keep it a little bit loose to maximise the insulation of the hemp creek. On this wall behind me that you see, you can see temporary framing, which is part of our form work. We pour about 600 mil at a time, and we just slide that form up as we go. Shuttering is there to keep the hemp in place between the outside wall and the inside wall. The hemp gets compressed in there and when we remove the shutters we're left with the beautiful finished hemp wall which is then plastered. So moving from the bottom to the top of the wall, the shutters are slipped formed so they are moved up incrementally and that takes away any vertical joins, all of the joins are horizontal. And as a result, we're left with this beautiful stratified layering. One of the challenges with the hemp is where we have fixing for curtain rails and things like that, is getting it in and underneath your fixing. But what you can do is come in afterwards and patch up your holes. Really hoping to get the hemp from New Zealand for this job with the new plant proposed for Christchurch. Unfortunately due to COVID-19 that plant hasn't got up and running yet so um, this hemp's come from Australia. What we've got here is two types of hemp herd. One, this coarse one here comes from fibre production and this one that we're using on this build is from seed production. The seeds are removed and we're left with the stalk and a mixture of fibres. We love this one. It, compresses really well and gives a great finish. Biggest of thank yous to the whole Hemp Creek team. You guys helped create this and it's really hard work. only regret is that we didn't get to use New Zealand grown hemp. But the new Christchurch plant is on track for 2021, so let's see where they're at. So Dave, you've been growing hemp in New Zealand for a long time now, I think it's probably started 12 years ago, but up to this point we still haven't been able to get this fibre that we need for the hempcrete. When do you think that'll be available? Um, yes, a really good question too, Lockie. Look, we're putting the fibre facility together in Christchurch right now. It's coming into February, we'll, we'll have production happening. Once the facility's up and running, how much hemp will you be producing? Around right about six tonne a day initially. Wow. Uh, but we can double that too. Uh, once we actually get to capacity and we know that we've got the markets taking it, um, we'll be able to be able to double that. Wow, so six tonne, that's, that's three of these houses a day. This hemp that we're using, um, I've always considered a byproduct of fibre production, but you've got a different spin on that. Yeah, that's correct, Lockie. So what we consider every aspect of the hemp plant as a primary product. 
uh, especially because construction is a primary industry. What we're doing with the bales of hemp that go through the fibre production is we get two primary products at the other end, vast fibre and food, or some people call it shoe. So it's estimated that hemp will absorb about three or four times the amount of carbon as pine trees over the same period of time. As well as the carbon in the hemp, we're using a lime binder. As it cures over time, the chemical process turns it back into limestone and that process involves absorbing carbon dioxide out of the air. Yeah, so that's really great because what that means is that um, over the next 100 years, I guess it is, that this is going to continue to absorb carbon, eventually turning into stone. So it's locking up those carbons for... Exactly, know, for the life, the life of the house. Life of the house. This is our second hempcrete build. In a month's time we're going to be starting our third and we're really excited about the potential to be building these sorts of houses all over New Zealand. Because it's, it's environmentally friendly, it's non-toxic and it's 100% sustainable, which is the way of the future. Well that was a big episode. Thanks for watching until the very end. We've got another eight episodes lined up covering a whole range of topics, so please keep coming back and checking in. There's a whole lot more to learn.